Hello guys, this is Richard Rees TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the Palin Preserve channel na napunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Hart Villieta, Bonato de Balmorial, Yoba Coteco, Molex Alamada, Devs Bilia, Foreman's Work, Michael Aborita, Midnight Chen Always Online, Retro Blog, Hart Ponsalan, Familia Lagan Channel, Carlo Ocnas, Monique Kilimore, and even to those who didn't join as the premiere, but still napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. Praise God sa isang araw na pahinga kasi nga holiday, no? Bonifacio Day. So, by tomorrow, we'll be preparing ourselves for another month, no? Sana all is well sa December natin, no? Sana ma-experience natin yung mga blessing. Hindi problema yung ma-experience natin sa Pasko. Para uh, joyous yung ano natin, yung celebration natin for the whole month of Christmas. I guess let's now proceed to our devotional. Let's open the Bible to Job chapter 2 verses 11 to 13. Still guys, I'm using the devotional side Bible because the words used is simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. This is about, about Job's three friends. Okay, the word of the Lord in Job chapter 2 verses 11 to 13 says, When Job's three friend Elipas, the Timonite, Bildad the Shushite, and Sopar the Naam Naamathite heard about all the troubles that had come upon him. They set out from their homes and met together by agreement to go and sympathize with him and comfort him. When they saw him from a distance, they could hardly recognize him. They began to weep aloud, and they tore their robes and sprinkled dust on their heads. Then they sat on the ground with him for seven days and seven nights. No one said a word to him because they saw how great the, his suffering was. I guess let's now pray. Lord, what a friend we have in Jesus, Lord God. Yung mga tatlong friend ni Job na nakirama yun sa nangyari sa kanya. Kasi nga nawala yung mga ari-arian niya. Nawala pa lahat na member ng pamilya niya, O okay. God. Lord, sometimes that happens to us, Lord God. We cannot say a word, but nakikita namin yung tao, naka, naiyak na lang kami. And then we say nothing except that we have to comfort that uh, the, the people involved sa family and cry and hug and pray the most of it, Lord God. Lord, nakakaawa naman, Lord God, yung situation talaga ni Job. And I know it happens to us also. And we pray that there would be people na Mano talaga sa amin, Lord, comfort sa amin, or sino man yung i-comfort namin, oh God, that we may all be relieved from the pain uh, caused by whatever <coughs> caused it, oh God. Lord, lead us, guide us, even as we move on sa devotional namin, na sana may matutunan kami before uh, we go out of this devotional, oh Lord God. Give us good night rest so we can gain strength for tomorrow's activity also. Yes, Lord, we commit all these things to you. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, the focus verse we have for this evening, guys, is in Job 2, 13, and it says, They sat on the ground with him for seven days and seven nights. Okay, so the title of, their, of our devotional is Being There. When Jen, a theme park employee, saw Rock collapse in tears on the ground, she rushed to help Rock. A young boy with autism was sobbing because the ride he'd waited all day to enjoy had broken down. Instead of hurrying him to his feet or simply urging him to feel better, Jen got down onto the ground with Rob, validating his feeling and allowing him the time to cry. Jen's actions are a beautiful example of how we can come alongside those who are grieving or suffering. 
the Bible tells Job crippling grief after the loss of his home, his herds, his income, his wealth, and the simultaneous death of his ten children. When Job's friend learned of his pain, they set out from their homes to go for him and comfort him. Job sat on the ground in mourning. When they arrived, his friends sat down with him for seven days, saying nothing because they saw the depth, depth of his suffering. In their humanness, Job's friend later offered Job insensitive advice, but for the first seven days, they gave him the wordless and tender gift of presence. We may not understand someone's grief, but we don't need to understand in order to love them well by simply being with them. Amen. Amen. Nakakaho talaga yung ano guys, yung situation ni Job. No? Mas kina ako nung nagbasa ako sa whole chapter of Job. Wow. Blinesya ni Lord na napakaraming blessing. No? Isa siya sa mga pinakamayamang tao sa mundo that time. No? And then, grabe yung suffering niya. Pero, one thing good about Job is, he is one of just chosen na righteous, sabi ni Lord sa kanya. Grabe yung nangy nangyari sa kanya. Imagine, sabay-sabay na matay yung mga member ng pamilya niya. No? yung mga anak niya, nawala yung mga ari-arian niya, yung wealth niya, maski yung mga tauhan niya. Kaya, praise God na may tumulong sa kanya, no? They didn't even say a word for Job, but yet, no? Andun sila nakikiramay. Kaya, yun din yung gagawin natin, guys, no? Sana gawin din natin yan sa mga friends natin who is suffering from intense problem na Lalo-lalo na na longer yung problem, no? Ako nga, yung sa sister ko, I always say, Lord, do not, ano, do not prolong the agony, no? Kasi, affected talaga kami sa, ano, sa situation ng sister ko na hanggang ngayon nasa, ano, pa rin sa ICU. May progress naman, pero, uh, affected kami when we think of, yung finances, kasi, uh, Ano na, more than, ano na, parang 800,000 ata yung bill, wala pa doon yung, ano, wala pa doon yung pitong doctor na nag-asikaso sa kanya. Sabi ko, Lord, saan pa kaya kami kukuha ng, ano, ng pera, no? Nakaka-drain talaga, nakaka-drain. Pero, laban lang, no? Laban lang. Andiyan naman si Lord na best friend natin. Kaya, excited ako, guys, na to always pray kasi I know, God is listening and He is the most person excited to listen to our prayer. Kaya, wag natin baliwalain yung pagdadasal natin. Kaya, I really encourage you to drop down your, ano, or send me your uh, prayer request so I can pray for you. It's a pleasure to pray for you. Yun lang kasi yung ma-offer ko sa inyo, guys, but I know prayer would do something better and do something big sa buhay natin. I guess let's now proceed to the two question. Who has been with you in difficult times? Ay, mga kapatid ko, guys, no? Lalong-lalo na nung nawalan ako ng trabaho. No? Yung sister ko na nasa hospital ngayon, tsaka yung isa ko pang, mga kapatid ko talaga, at tatlo sila na tumutulong sa akin. Kaya, uh, as much as possible, every time na magpunta ako ng uh, hospital, gusto ko talaga na, ano, na, May maibigay ako na pera. Pero ngayon, I do not know saan na kukuha ng pera na mahanin ko na naman sa uh, ano ko, sa pamangkin ko, yung anak niya, saka sa brother in ko. At mismo sa kanya. Kasi parang nasanay, nasanay ko na na to give something to him, no? to her, to them. Para makatulong naman. Kasi no matter how small yung ano natin, yung tulong natin, malaking tulong na, na talaga yan sa, ano, sa pamilya. So, yun, no? Sa sister ko talaga. And then, second question, who needs your presence today? Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung sino. Pero kagabi may nabasa ako na isang, ano, isang misses na kasama akong teacher sa school na may sudyante siya na naglalakad daw, 2 o'clock pala ng madaling araw, naglalakad na para makarating ng highway kasi nilalakbay niya yung ano, nilalakad niya for 2 hours 
para makapunta na kayo, sabi ko, Lord, grabe, gusto kong tulungan ang, ang, ang isudyante na yun. Kaya, I want to talk to the teacher na para makatulong din sa isudyante na yun. Parang yun yung nasa heart ko ngayon, guys. no Okay, so guys, let's now pray. God, we thank you for being with us always. In good times and bad, help us to offer the gift of presence to those you put in our path. Amen and Amen. Yes, guys, if nobody would help us, seek God because God is there ready to help us. God bless us all, guys, because I know God surely bless us 10 times better. This again, Richard Witt's TV. Kita-kita tayo ulit. Tangan sa muli. Paalam!